I love Deltrune, okay? You do not understand how much I love this game and how many hours I have put into it. It is such a great game. I want to say it right now, I think it's better than Undertale. I swear the comments are going to be like, oh my gosh, but still Undertale's... Okay, Undertale is good, but this game is better, in my opinion, anyways. I also don't know why I like this so much, but this sounds like a computer startup and it's so cool. Yes! Now that that rambling's done, it's time for me to name 10 things that I love about Deltarune. Starting with number one, the characters. The characters in this game really are just the main focus. They are such great characters, though. You got Chris, Susie, Ralse. Three names, pretty easy to remember. Well, except for Ralse, maybe his name is kind of hard to pronounce sometimes. Although it's said to be pronounced Ralse in the game, lots of content creators and streamers still pronounce it. I'm Ralse. Ras Ralse? Ralse? Uh, I am Ralse. Ralse. Ralsei. Wrong, to say the least. <laughs> so you've gotten to know the main characters, but sometimes it's the side characters like Noelle that make the game really, really fun to interact with. Her cutscenes and her personality is really supposed to be like really bubbly and cute, which makes her a very good character and a very lovable character at that. She's a really good character, and honestly, I would put her in my top three, obviously behind Ralsei and Barney. And honestly, there's not much else to say about the characters. They're just really good. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to start talking about some of the villains. You know, we got Queen and... Ugh. Do we really have to talk about this one? You know, I'm just not gonna talk about this one, okay? We got Queen. She's funny, she's spunky, she keeps things going, and oh my gosh, she likes to drink. Well, who would've thought? She really is the perfect villain. She's honestly just a really funny character. She doesn't even seem like a villain at all. Okay, I am legally obliged to talk about this guy. Honestly, kind of a dickhead, but you know, that's how villains are supposed to be, so whatever. The battles are just so fun. I never would have thought that the battles would be this engaging. Just look at this! How could you not have fun? Honestly, tell me how. The mechanics are great, the actions are funny, and we got magic. Yeah. <laughs> these honestly just bring a smile to my face. And just look at the enemies! Seriously, these things are cool! I know y'all saw this coming from a mile away, but the music in this game is so good, okay? Listen to this for just a moment, okay? It is amazing. Ah, ah, so good! Just to show the amount of work that Toby put all of this effort into making the plot so insane, I will be attempting to say this entire plot in 20 seconds. Major spoiler warning. <gasps> a human named Chris meets a monster named Susie who bullies them but still eventually becomes their friend. Chris and Susie are sent to go get chalk from the supply closet when the floor collapses in the supply closet and they fall into a dark world where they meet Ralse who shows them around. They find the king's son and kill the evil king because he's a cat and Susie and Chris get transported back to another supply closet later after school. <gasps> and that's only chapter one. If you don't know about a few of these secrets, I mean, either you suck at using the internet or you're just hiding under a rock. These things are everywhere. I'm gonna go on YouTube and just search up Deltarune. Let's see how long it takes to find some sort of secret boss thing. Okay, here we go. Deltarune. So we got one, two videos. Some shorts, three. Oh! 
already. All fourth on fourth on the list. Would you look at that? For our secret boss lineup, we got Spamton from Chapter Two and Jevil from Chapter One. I don't know why I did those in a different order, but whatever. Jevil and Spamton are both secret bosses. Well, I mean, they really aren't much of a secret anymore, but... I mean, they used to be a secret, so we're still gonna call them secret bosses. There are lots of other easter eggs in this game, but I feel like the most popular ones are the bosses. Jevil and Spamton are both really popular online. Jevil's boss fight is famous for being very, very difficult. And Spamton's is famous for introducing a new game mode and just being... Creepy. Just creepy. There are so many background settings in this game that go unnoticed because too many people just focus on the foreground. And I'm not saying all people, y'all who appreciate the backgrounds are the real ones. People who just don't care about the backgrounds should though. They have so much effort put into them just for them to not be the main focus. When chapters 3, 4, and 5 release, go look at the backgrounds. It'll be really interesting what you'll find in just the background. This game has so many things that go unsolved that may be solved later in the game, but I'm not really sure about that. We'll just have to wait and see. Who is Mike? What are the Dark Worlds? Why is Asgore in this game as a florist and not a king? Is this the overworld to Undertale's underworld? So many good questions to ask, yet no answers. Jokes. We all love jokes. This game is full of them. Sometimes the best jokes are explained to you, but others are best if you don't have them explained. You'll know what I mean if you play the game, which you should, by the way. If you've made it this far and still haven't played the game, go play it! The last thing I love about this game is all the videos being made about it. Hence, this video. I love this game so much, and I just wanted to show it to the community. Fortunately, tons of other content creators feel the same way as me and want to appreciate this game as much as I do. It's beautiful seeing everyone come together to make so many great videos about a great game. So, in conclusion, Deltarune is an amazing game. It has so much work put into it and sometimes it just goes unnoticed. But now, I'm so glad that so many people are recognizing the game more. I hope this game grows into a video game classic. Toby Fox really deserves it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe if you liked the content, and don't forget. I'm with you in the dark.